You look good this morning. Hallelujah. While you remain standing, I know you've been standing a while, but it's so wonderful to be in the presence of a beautiful Savior and to magnify Him. And the, the inclement weather outside has not dampened our enthusiasm for His name and our love for His glory. We are a beneficent people because we have been saved by His grace, not by any works that we could do lest we should boast in of ourselves, but we've been saved because of his unmerited favor, his unrequited love for us. And we thank God for that. So while you remain standing with us and you get ready to worship God and you're giving to all of our guests, we are so thankful you're here this morning. And if you're watching online, we're so thankful. We are excited about everyone in Australia that is being touched by the power of the Holy Spirit. So many of you have written this week and you've let us know that God is moving in Australia in the land of down under and we are so thankful for the work that he's doing in your life. And to all of our friends in Rwanda, we're praying. In Uganda, we're praying for you right now in the name of Jesus. So we're so glad each of you are here this morning. And I want to share with you something while you get ready to stir your heart and believe God to be your economy. I had been teaching um, a young leader the principles of the science of God's economy. How many of you remember a couple of weeks ago we broke that down and you're not part of this world's economy? Wall Street does not dictate your blessing. But God has a way of bringing into your life unimaginable resources. And so there was a young man in uh, North Carolina this week that said, Pastor, I heard what you were saying and I've been watching what you've been saying. And uh, he said, I went to a uh, restaurant this week and I didn't have very much money. Me and my wife, in fact, were ordering together so we could split a meal and we just had very little money and we were trying to stay tight on a budget. And he said, uh, I wanted to share with you what happened. He said, as I was eating, there was an elderly couple next to me and the Lord spoke to me and said, buy their meal. And he said, God, I can't buy their meal. We're, we're sharing a meal now because we're trying to stay on a budget and we're trying to uh, be a good steward and we don't have very much money this month and so forth and so on. And, uh, and so he argued with God and uh, he went on about his business and received his check and he got ready and uh, he heard the Lord whisper in his ear. He said, it's so sad that you can't trust me for $100. He had inquired from the, the waiter how much their bill was. His bill was $28.95 and their bill was $92. That elderly couple was eaten. <laughs> they, might, they might have had a bowl of lobster or something. But... The Lord spoke to him and said, you can't, you can't trust me for $100? And he felt so convicted. He said, Pastor, I just had to, I just had to surrender and, and ask the Lord to forgive me. And so I told him, I said, go, go get their check and I'm going to pay for it. Don't tell them anything about it. And, and he paid the bill and, and walked out. Twelve hours later, he opened his computer. His phone kept going off with notifications and he opened his computer and he looked at his seminar business and he had five new accounts sign up he's never talked to the people he doesn't know the people he has no relationship with the people and all five of them paid up front for their services now this is not men's economy because that defies the science of it. In 12 hours, obedience, reluctant obedience. Not even enthusiastic obedience. Reluctant obedience said, I'm going to practice trusting. And 12 hours later, he had $6,000 in his bank account. Somebody shout, won't he do it? 
Boy, that's weak. Won't he do it? I don't know how he's going to do it, but he will do it. He will make a way when there seemeth to be no way. He's a God that is on time. So I wanted to encourage you and let you know that God knows and he's testing and watching and seeing and trusting his word to amplify our blessing in the earth so that we can practice his kingdom every day of our life. Amen? I'm believing God for a miracle. I don't know about you, but I need a miracle. And so this morning, I want you to join your faith with me and I want to pray over every person who puts their trust in God's word over the circumstances and the logic and the reasonable doubt of their condition. God can and God will. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I magnify you this morning and I am so thankful that you have never failed us. Your word cannot fail. The earth will, will tremble under the power of your word. The sun will lose its light before your word will ever fail. You're the superintendent of your word. You're the keeper of your word. You're the author of your word. And when you speak a word, we receive it in glorious anthems of praise, knowing that our God has made a way. I thank you for amplifying your favor in every life. I thank you for blessing these who are under the sound of my voice with economies that are born out of the kingdom of heaven and not out of the bowels of men. I thank you, God, that you're making a way for riches to flow to your people. You've laid up the wealth of the wicked for the righteous, and we draw down on that blessing in the name of Jesus. And we say thank you for moving your kingdom forward. In Jesus' name, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The ushers are here to wait on you. If you're online, you can give by debit card. You can give by Zelle. You can give any way you want to. And God will bless you. Trust him and 